this is Tim with FNS Yamaha and Marine in Hanover, Pennsylvania. I'd like to take a look at a new Bennington today. This is a 2024. It is a 20 foot SL. It means it's in the S family with the L group seating. Now this is a brand new midnight black with the new orange accent that they just brought out for this year. The S family has totally new Actually, everything from the pontoons up. It's all new railing, new furniture, new helm. Again, in this case, new collars. This boat, we got the blackout Lux package. Takes all the railing and blacks it out with the trim skirting. Also the bimini frame. New this year is the docking and navigation lights. They're integrated on the side. That frees up some front flooring space. Here you can see a couple others. Like I can say this black and orange has been very popular this year. Stepping into the new interior, there's a new color. This is the Dolce, or we'll just call it tan with the orange accents. You'll see the new integrated cup holders, storage tray, good storage underneath the seats. Coming around here on the port bench, again has that uh, distinctive orange accent. Very sporty look. And like I say, again, storage underneath. Oops, sorry. This actually has the table and post mounted under here, which goes back in the midsection. Looking back, we'll have a all new helm on this boat. Step one was they put the helm here on a slant. That increases leg room. You can see the accent lighting here and storage in under. Coming across up top, a kicker stereo. This is AM, FM, and Bluetooth. All your gauges. And we got the optional Garmin, very popular. This is an EcoMaps model. So water depth, temperature, some fishing functions. Looking here on all the gauges, this will have tilt steering. There's an owner's glove box underneath. Yamaha controls. This is a twin tube model. It has a capacity of up to 10 adults with motor options all the way up to 115 horsepower. That's new for this year where it used to be 90 in the past. Tilt steering is standard. Kind of an overview here of the dash. There you can see the big French bench seats again. Captain's chair is gonna slide front and back. It will swivel. The backrest is adjustable. And then the armrest here. One feature I did not mention, this has the gate guides. These are very handy to hold a gate open. There's also, it's hard to see, but a small LED light that is illuminated at nighttime from a switch on the dash. Coming here to the L bench. That's where that table is going to mount there on the floor. Again, storage under all these seats. One option we did get is a battery switch simple turn it on and off that way we don't leave any accidentally uh, switches on that would drain a battery this has the changing privacy curtain this will snap in we have a little breeze here today so it's hard to show but this is going to snap in and then give a zippered area as far as for uh, putting either a porta potty inside or changing room Let's see if I can snap one or two on here and like I say that makes a nice area all Bennington's will come with a mooring cover you can see on some boats here beside us that is standard the bimini top is 10 feet in length. We have a boat up here beside us where the bimini is open. They are very user friendly on the Bennington models. 
We'll step off the back here and show you the rear ladder. We actually mount the outboard once we know what horsepower engine the customer goes with. We do a lot of small 20 and 25 horsepowers for the local state park or again up to a 115 horsepower. Fuel fill is central located here in the middle. Very user friendly. Pulling into a gas dock or if an optional trailer is purchased, you can load from either side. This motor, I'm sorry, this boat will come with an optional ski tow bar, which is mounted uh, at time of delivery. Once a work order is wrote, the boats are all rigged by Yamaha certified technicians. We are very fortunate at FNS. All the mechanics working here have an average of over 20 years with FNS. Very uh, proud of that. As much as I respect the Bennington line, there are things that still need addressed or checked at time of delivery. We have an internal PDI sheet we make up anytime we find something that needs uh, looked at or a problem over the years. The mechanics are not flat rate. They take as much time as they need to have the boat rigged and done properly. Once the mechanic has everything set, the motors are test run in our tank. We do the initial first hour of break-in, recheck and throttle response, oil level idle. Once the mechanic signs off, it goes to clean and detail. They're gonna get everything standing tall. And then we wanna take the customer out on the water for an orientation. We're looking at some inventory here at the dealership now. We keep a good amount in stock. We have tri-tunes at a different location inside right near here. These are all twin tubes we're looking at now. We have a selection of trailers if we Want to add single or tandem axle, that's no problem. A great selection of accessories inside. We encourage customers to look at Google and Facebook. Look at reviews. When you're picking a boat, it's also important to pick a quality dealer. This will change drastically from one uh, dealer to another. There are good dealers out there. There's some that have, shall we say, a lot of room for improvement. We're very happy with our reviews and we encourage you to read them for us and other dealers when shopping. My name is Tim. Please uh, ask any questions I can help with. There's many different models and option packages. It's my job to simplify that and help make that easier. You can use the phone number, email, text message, or stop in and see the boats in person. At the bottom of the screen, here's all the information. Please let me know how I can help. Thank you for watching.